Okay, hello and welcome to the 16th part of this video tutorial. Um, we, we are getting there um, and hopefully you're still um, watching. You're seeing actually um, how it's relatively easy to do, okay, but it can be a little bit complicated at times. But the art between doing this is having these files all separated. Okay, Don't worry about separating all of your data into separate files because at a later stage it becomes a lot more understandable all right, for you to go back to. If it's just like 2,000 lines in one, uh, in one file then you just get totally confused. Try and separate all of your code systematically and logically. Okay, So the, the aim of this is to then populate this comments Okay, array with actual real comments. Okay, so let's get started. Now we've got our comments.php class where we've now got git comments. So let's proceed with updating this information. So the SQL for this is then select everything from comments, order by um, comment ID and then we want descending. I mean really we should have uh, a date in there when it was done but let's just use the comment ID. Okay so let's say query equals MySQL query put the SQL um, variable inside of it. Okay now let's check that the query was all okay so if query and now what we want to have is then we're going to have say an output equals array and we're going to have it as an empty array so we know that um, we are at least outputting an empty array therefore it's not going to cause an error when with our comments okay we know that it's getting an array, it's an expecting an array therefore we're going to give it an array okay so um, now we're going to um, check to see whether there's actually any in there so we're going to say mysql uh, num rows query is more than zero. If it is, then we can we can loop through them. So if it is, then we're going to say uh, row equals mysql fetch. Whoops, object only with one underscore after it and no, without a w, and just say query once again. And we loop through these and we we'll say output equals row. All right, nothing more than that. And we're going to then return output okay nice and simple okay at this point with our defines we've we've um, connecting to the database okay but we're not actually um, getting the uh, we're not actually requiring um, our comments comments page itself okay so we're just going to copy copy this require once and stick it down here and we'll say models directory okay, which is where we want to go and we just have to say the comments because if you remember the, subs the, sorry, the comments collects the subscribers class as well okay, and it loads that one for us so we don't have to worry about it too much so let's come back to our um, index.html and we can get rid of now or the index.php sorry we can get rid of this now and we can say comments and get comments all right now let's s come back to our uh, our main page and see whether we get any errors okay no errors as of yet so we're kind of happy with that now with inside of our includes the comment underscore box dot php we know that it's looping through now we're getting only three this time before we had a b c d e so we had five but now we're only getting three so we could actually do something with this okay so because this comments is an array um, of comments, okay, which we got from the database, we can actually start using it. So let's delete this images photo and then just put in here PHP and say echo comments and then we say profile image. Okay, let's copy this as well so we don't have to retype this stuff. Let's put it in here and let's say username. But, 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 we've, we're um, getting the comments back, okay? Now, what we do need to be able to do is, as we go through, we, whoa, what's all that about? We need to be able to get the user information, okay? So we're going to have to say user equals, and then subscribers, whoops, 
gets subscriber and we're going to say comments and then user ID right so because we've got the user ID from the comment we actually need to get have the um, the user itself as well so we can say user and in here we say echo username because now we've got the object from the get subs uh, get subscriber now let's delete all this comment text and so on because we don't need it anymore let's remove that let's do this and let's say echo then and comments and then it was comments all right that's enough for now that should all be fine I think that's just NetBeans being a bother. Okay, and now we need to be able to update this one a bit as well. And we say echo comments and it's comment ID. Okay, uh, let's just put that on the end. Yeah, it's just being NetBeans being a bother. Okay, so now we're not picking up the user image for some reason. Let's have a look why. What did that output? Not defined. profile image oh yeah, yeah yeah stupid okay that's user sorry okay user profile image let's come back to here okay and there we go as you can see we're getting the three comments and uh, we come here and say um, test insert again by uh, James who cares cares and this is on a new line this too. All right. Let's press post. That's all there. Let's do a refresh of the page. And same thing. I mean, you keep refreshing this thing as many times as you want, and it's still there. Okay. Um, so that's that bit done now. Okay. Thank God. <laughs> okay. Now let's do this. Um, so now we know that the collecting and the, um, the the retrieval and the insertion of comments is working um, just fine. All right. Um, so now we now need to be able to to delete the one comment. So we need to add um, an event listener on on um, this one button. Um, just for the sake of, I'm going to do this in the next tutorial. Just for the sake of of cleaning up as well on this side of it. Let's just close all of our files down that we've got here. Let's go to comment box. Now, to be quite honest with you, on our index.php how could we a little be a little bit safer we know that that's coming back as null if it doesn't collect any comments or there's none there and this is then saying for each now we sorry it's not coming back as null it's coming back as um, an array here but what if we get some bother somewhere else and error messages come out and so on I think it would be a lot better idea whoops to come up here and actually to do a check on here to say um, if and we're going to say is set and we're going to use the globals whoops we're going to use the globals and we're going to say not capitals comments all right to check to make sure that comments is actually available first of all and we just end it down here as well all right so we first of all want to know that that globals comments variable is available okay so let's just refresh this okay and it's still there so we know it's fine now if we come back to our index dot um, PHP and just add an s inside of it refresh you can see that we don't get any errors but the comments just don't become available alright so that's the thing that we're trying to stop here we're try now trying to stop error messages from occurring okay now from the comments box as well and what we want to say is and so if we know that the um, the globals comments is available we want to check that it is an array okay so let's then now we can use comments in here because we know comments is available if this one fails it's not going to go past this one um, and okay so we don't need to worry about this we know that this comments is going to be available okay so we're only going to continue if it's set and it is an array so let's just do a refresh and it works still now let's for the sake of being able to stop it from being array let's now say that output is equal to null alright 
and then let's just then make output here equals to an array okay seems kind of stupid but just to show you okay well that's because obviously it's um, finding some information there but what about if we um, if we just put some something wrong within it within inside of our SQL okay okay as you can see now we look in the page source we're not getting any errors at all okay because we've doing the right amount of checks um, to see that things to make sure that things that don't go wrong okay because if that's not a query okay this if statements catching that all right and it's returning output which is basically um, none all right but we're returning um, an array so we know that the comments box is going to populate itself regardless whether it's um, got comments or not okay which is what we want so we can see there where it works okay so in the next tutorial we're going to start linking up the um, delete buttons on these comment boxes okay which is going to be re relatively simple all right so see you in the next tutorial